next level. Interior design by Parson Shogos. Charming. Ooh, and a lovely squelching sound as you meander around. Remember to wipe your boots on the way out. Is there a door? Ah, uh -huh. there's a door. It is done. Knock, knock. Cobalt and nothing else. Let's delay. So I got two kobolds and a doom shaman. Pretty bad choice, but we'll go with it. Can't see a doom shaman, so let's go across a little bit. And then it's equalizing numbers a bit. Probably because there's a pillar in the way. Can we get to them? Nope. So let's. No, let's go for the kobold because he's going to be a pain in the bottom. We can do it. If we're lucky, we might be able to get a attack of opportunity and try to cast again. She can. She's still in combat. Excellent. This will hurt. I'm not sure if this game actually is fussed about line of sight, but we'll pretend it is. You've made your choice. You should have run. <laughs> ah, there he is. We what? can do it! Nice. Need uh, some cover. Oh, isn't that embarrassing? You're supposed to spot those things, mate. I think the traps have actually done more damage than the cobalt have. Let's go as close so as it charm. comes to this. Hope he hasn't got a breath weapon. And we'll stay on the other side of the shaman. With all your might. I'll just have to resort to brute force. Strike. Oh, nice. Right, 
given that our load is getting very close to maximum, what we're going to do is check this final room, see if there's anything exciting in here, and then we're going to do a quick cut. I'll run back upstairs again, trade off the tap, buy some better stuff, and then we will see you in a moment. Yes, we're above ground, very well spoiled. A feature that I was not made, made aware of is that if you exit to the next level above where you are, you automatically go to the top floor. Which is rather convenient. Let's see if there's anything out of this that we want to stash. The answer is mm, probably not. And there's two handle weapon. Everything else we can follow. March on. To this conveniently placed man. So, don't need, don't need the shiny things, or the armor, longbow, nah, we'll keep the master like light longbows, longbows, crossbows, they could prove useful, bye, goodbye, 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 well actually, short bow, keep hold of that, because there's a general weapon that anyone can use. Let's keep hold of that just in case. Um. Ooh. You're, un you're uncharted, we'll keep hold of you. Missed that. You're very bad of me. Keep hold of that as well in case we get a druid. I think you can see a theme here. Now, what delights can we purchase? I feel a shield would be useful. Some shields here somewhere. There we go. Hmm. We can push to a pair of heavy shields. Light shields are tempting. Slightly less encumbrance, but we like that extra plus one. Hmm. Maybe one day. Again, maybe one day. Else, any plus one weapons? Of course, must remember not to pick up exotics. Plus one daggers for my rogue. Tempting, very tempting. Although... Hmm. That would be thematically appropriate. Let's get an axe for... My paladin. Nice. 
rob us. Let's dump our spare kit. Not that I'm a hoarder at all. Luck, luck will probably go on my rogue. Door. Probably to my well, right as we're seeing it. The character's left. Don't hold back. This will hurt. <laughs> Nasty. Forward! I'd say that's very decisive. Stopping now. It seems my expertise was not enough. It's weird the cleric went up. Look at that, but hey ho. Here we are. It is done. <laughs> Cobalt party. <laughs> I must admit, I do have a soft spot for the Cobalt in the main game. We can do it! Oh. Strike with all your might! What's going on here? Well, this is an accident used to our move, so whoops. So yes, I do have a soft spot for the cobalt. I 
for some reason always end up having you. Ouch. Apart from you, I don't have a soft spot for you. No fear! But in the main campaign, I always end up having cobalt settlements in my main in my towns and cities. Again, because they're so damn hard when it comes to level one parties. You should have run! And there you go, there's the advantage of Great Cleave. Or oh, sorry, cleaving finish. Strike! Oh, I've killed you, and you know what? I think I'll kill you too. We won't fall back. Wasn't the one I was intending, but he's dead, so well done. to feel left out, have a ring of plus one. Follow me. There's something here. This Rogue. is my path. You're up. I am finished. Never wrong. Actually, more right here. found that amusing. Do I keep hitting this one or do I go after the alchemist because he's just going to start lobbing petrol bombs, sorry, magical items at me. Can I charge? Nope. Fine. This will hurt. Finishing off now. Be we helpful. can do it. That's good. As the cleric's going to run after the sorcerer, I can then move the cleric out to block to protect them. Probably can't charge. 
Oh, we can. Fantastic. Dash is impolite. Can you charge? Nope. And no. Nope. I'll use a full move action to get within touching range of the sentry. So, I want to make this underground layer. Yes. Right. No I want stopping every now. room to be huge. Pardon? Huge. Um, it's going to take longer to construct thing. Yes, but I want every room to be huge. Um, the walls. To be fair, designing a game where every room is tiny and you can barely get three people into would be a struggle. Ooh, steady, calm down. If I go there. I hope we won't be in the way of the power zone. Strike with all your might! Can't quite make it. Interesting. To be fair, the cleric and the rogue are an absolute blinder of killing them both in the first round of combat. Oh, wow. Almost seems unfair. He fast forward to episode twelve. I'm running away from everything. Crying. Oh, it's oh my goodness. It's got multiple sets of teeth and eyes. How am I going to kill it? Spear plus one. We'll put it on the mage. For if it all goes completely wrong. Mm -hmm. Plus one resistance, same as Anna, cold resistance of ten, so. Add that to my mage, has already got cold resistances. Should be a bonus. Oh, actually, bit of housekeeping. Bear me a moment, please. Right, again. No secret rooms jumped out at me. Although, what's that down there? Probably nothing, but we'll have a quick look. Bear with us a moment. Quick slurp. I 
our report, sir. We found a spoon. A spoon? Yes, sir, a spoon. All right, well done, Centurion. Do you scribble in the comments if you have any clue on what I'm on about. It is done. Level five. So this is a good juncture to stop the video. So thank you for watching. Take care. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And we'll see you soon.